Hi, I'm Ton Allen Rose. I'm editor of CPA Magazine, and we're talking with some of the folks that were speakers here at the conference. I'm talking right now with Richard Edsel, and Richard spoke on when audits fail. Richard, can you tell us anything that CPA firms would need to know about this topic? Well, yes, there are a lot of things that CPA firms would really need to consider, um, going all the way from the client acceptance process up through the way they're planning their audits and how they execute them and through the final review process. You know, these days it's becoming more and more important for a client to really check out their potential audit client before they bring the client on board. Uh, don't be afraid to do a credit check. Uh, don't be afraid to do a criminal background check on the principals, particularly if it's a smaller company. Um, don't be afraid to talk to their banker or their attorney. If, they, if the client doesn't want you to talk to those people, that could bring a red flag right up there. Um, in the planning, there are some brand new statements on auditing standards called the Risk Assessment Suite, which become effective really for calendar year 2007 audits that really require um, higher level supervisory people. If you're a structured tiered firm that has partners and manager level people on the team, make sure that they're very much involved in the planning, that they're involved in the required risk assessment procedures as well. Uh, make sure that your seniors and staff are properly supervised. Sampling is becoming more and more of an issue in audits these days. Um, if you're going to have a, a staff accountant pick the sample, make sure he or she is properly supervised in doing so, and please review it before you give it to a client. Because one of the worst things you want to do is to have a client pull a bunch of documents or uh, prepare a bunch of confirmation letters and then find out you have the wrong sample and they all have to be redone. And also, you know, watch your work paper documentation. Make sure that you have in there everything you need to support your opinion on the financial statements, but no extraneous stuff in there. And then finally, make sure that in the review and wrap-up phase that you follow your firm's quality control procedures. Good advice. Thanks, Richard. And we were talking just moments before when you were talking about the worst of things that can happen when audits fail, which was Enron... And what do you think was the biggest thing they did wrong on that one? Anything comes to mind? One of the biggest things they did wrong on Enron was not recognizing what they called special purpose entities. There were entities off the books that were specifically designed to borrow money, take all the assets, and run with them, quite literally. And Enron is probably the biggest audit failure of all time for two reasons. Number one, it took down the number seven company in the United States as far as revenues. Um, their, as we know, their CEO committed suicide. Um, Jeffrey Fastow was um, very recently convic convicted and sentenced to a multi-year uh, jail term. Um, in addition to that, um, probably the biggest and most well-respected of the former Big Five CPA firms, Arthur Anderson, um, went out of business. It's now, now for the big five to the big four, based on one client situation. Thanks. That's terrific advice for us from Richard Edsel right here live at the Florida Accounting Show. Thanks, Richard. Well, thank you.